In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of the risen Lord be with you all. As we await the coming of the Lord at Christmas, the coming of the Lord again in our lives at the last days, we ask that we might be merciful as he is merciful to us. You, O oh Lord, are close, <coughs> and your ways are truth. Lord, have mercy. From of old I have known of your decrees, for you are eternal. Christ, have mercy. Let us live justly and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope and the coming of the glory of our great God. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to make ready the paths of your only begotten Son, that through his coming we may be found worthy to serve you, with minds made pure. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord your God who grasped your right hand. It is I who say to you, Fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O warm Jacob, O maggot Israel, I will help you, says the Lord. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel. I will make of you a threshing sledge, sharp, new, and double-edged, to thresh the mountains and crush them, to make the hills like chaff. When you winnow them, the wind shall carry them off, and the storm shall scatter them. But you shall rejoice in the Lord, and glory in the Holy One of Israel." The afflicted and the needy seek water in vain. Their tongues are parched with thirst. I, the Lord, will answer them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. I will open up rivers on the bare heights and fountains in the broad valleys. I will turn the desert into a marshland and the dry ground into springs of water. I will plant in the desert the cedar, acacia, myrtle, and olive. I will set in the wasteland the cypress, together with the plain tree and the pine, that all may see and know, observe and understand that the hand of the Lord has done this, the Holy One of Israel has created it. The Word of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. I will extol you, O my God and King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let all your works give you thanks, O Lord, and let your faithful ones bless you. Let them discourse of the glory of your kingdom and speak of your might. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. Let them make known to men your might and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is a kingdom for all ages and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of great kindness.
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Amen, I say to you, among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist, yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and the violent are taking it by force. All the prophets in the law prophesied up to the time of John. If you are willing to accept it, he is Elijah, one who is to come. Whoever has ears ought to hear the gospel of the Lord. I'm sure this never happens to any of you, that I get thunderstruck by the passage of time every so often especially when I look at my nephews and nieces. My youngest nephew, Chris, is 48, and he's 6'5". Obviously, we have a genetic relationship that's very close. He's my spitting image. (laughs) Not. But uh, one of the things I used to say to him when he was a little boy He'd, he'd be sitting next to me, and he'd be shuffling around, and I'd say, you're such a wiggle worm. And he'd laugh, and he'd say, yes, and wiggle some more. In the first reading tonight, or this morning, we have a, a wonderful image of a wiggle worm from the prophet Isaiah. I am the Lord your God who grasps your right hand. It is I who say to you, fear not, I will help you. Fear not, O worm Jacob, O maggot Israel. Now, when was the last time you said to one of your kids, oh, you're such a little cute maggot? (laughs) But in ancient Middle Eastern terms, this was a term of endearment. Uh, Aren't we glad it isn't anymore? (laughs) My little maggot. (laughs) My little worm Israel. (laughs) And yet... We have God talking through the prophet as a father would to his, 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 his little kid. And of course the little kid picks up that the father's teasing him and the, and the little kid loves to have his father tease him and he, he echoes it back. He says, I'm a little maggot, I'm a little worm. It's a lovely image, intimate image of, of, of humorous image of God looking after Israel and its needs. This then is the God we serve. This is the God we love. This is the God we adore. A God who's not afraid to call us his little maggots, his little worms. And so the next time your grandchild drives you nuts with their wiggle wormness, just think of Isaiah and blame him. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, We pray especially today for Heidi Slovyevsky on her birthday. We pray to the Lord. Lord, And for the recovery of Robbie Shu, we pray to the Lord. Lord, And for Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, for all who lead us in faith, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For health care workers and all those affected by the pandemic, especially those who are out of work, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for the intentions of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord.
Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son, that as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we may hasten, alert, and with lighted lamps, filled with confidence to meet him when he comes. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I believe we have the chariots of the gods and the wiggle worms. Pray, my sisters and my brothers, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice in our hands, the praise and glory of God's name. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue anyway, with the protection of your loving mercy. Grant this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ Jesus our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed so long ago and open for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. So in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread from the table. He gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, 
the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Jose our Bishop, and all the clergy and ministers of your people. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, our Holy Father Dominic, our sister Catherine of Siena, St. Joseph, St. Lorenzo Ruiz, and all the apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pre pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from all of our fears and our anxieties as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And let's offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. On you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. On you stay. Qui tollis peccata mundi. Let's pray together our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul.
Let's pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray, for even now as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the peace and the blessing of Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit descend upon us all and remain with us forever. Amen. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Stay out of trouble, don't fidget. Thank you, Father. But if you do, the Father loves you anyway. <laughs>